For this video, I wanted to take a look at the stock carburetors for Jog Minarelli 1E40 QMB, uh, two-stroke Chinese scooters. Uh, same carburetors are also found on uh, youth ATVs like the Polaris Sportsman 90s and some Kaseya and different brands of youth ATVs with 50 to 90cc Minarelli engines. Basically, just want to take a look at what the carb is, uh, different connections, what screw does what, how you take it apart to get to different things, just a general overview, how to work on it a little bit. Uh, I wanted to start out with one common misconception on these carburetors. I know a lot of people seem to say they have like a 17, 18, 19 millimeter carburetor stock, and maybe some of the uh, Minarelli scooters do have those stock, but I think a lot of it is a misunderstanding. I got one here, uh, somewhere on here. If you can see that, it says PZ19 up there. And I think a lot of people see model numbers like that. And there's a Makuni, I think it's a VM18. I'm not 100% sure right now. But I think a lot of people see those model numbers and they get confused and think they have a 17, 18, 19 millimeter carburetor stock. And also, if you were to measure this outlet here, the inside diameter of that is usually 18 to 19 millimeters. The problem is when you're measuring a carburetor, the uh, outlet diameter here or the diameter of the mouth aren't how you measure the size of the carburetor. If uh, hold it up to the light here, if you look through there, you'll see that there is a smaller portion in the middle, and that's basically where you measure the size of the carburetor. So it may be 19 millimeters here on the outlet, but I'm not sure how well it comes across in the video, but it's definitely smaller there. In fact, uh, most of these carburetors, as far as I know, come out to be about 14 millimeter. And that is backed up. If you look at a lot of stock air boxes, they'll have a symbol like you can see here showing 14 millimeter diameter. Uh, even on the snorkel, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on the video. See if I can get it into some light. There's a 14 inside there. Um, so yeah, they're marked to tell you that they're 14 millimeter. I've got out an actual 19 millimeter carburetor here on the left. And again, if you look through the stock carburetor, you can see that the Venturi, that, that restricted bit in the middle there, is actually smaller than the uh, outlet of the carburetor. And then if you look at the 19 millimeter that has a 19 millimeter diameter on the outlet, it doesn't get any smaller. It's actually 19 millimeter all the way through. That's an actual 19 millimeter carburetor as opposed to the 14 millimeter. While I'm talking about the size of the carburetors, there's one thing I wanted to note. Uh, as much as everybody seems to want some giant carburetor, on their scooter there really is nothing wrong with a stock 14 millimeter carburetor with a lot of setups if you got a stock scooter it's just fine uh, a lot of 70 cc big bore kits if you stick to about the sport level so you're not revving really high or making a, a lot more power then they're fine for that uh, i've used them all the way up to 96 cc motors mild motors um, the main thing is if you're going to rev very high or if uh, you're going to increase displacement a lot the larger carburetors will do a lot better job of keeping the cylinder cool on top of possibly some performance benefits but uh, if you've got a stock scooter then uh, don't be so hasty just to run out and ditch the stock car because it's not so bad having a 14 millimeter now I'll show you all the uh, connections to the carburetor and the screws start out with the inlet mouth of the carburetor that'll connect to your air box or air filter outlet of the carburetor go to the uh, intake manifold this is your automatic enricher here some people call it an auto choke this has an electric connector this is where your throttle cable connects that is the fuel inlet this nipple here is for the oil injection. This is your idle speed screw. That is the idle mixture screw. There's a vacuum port here. On the bottom of the carburetor, the bowl here, you've got your fuel drain connection and then a drain screw right there. And uh, basically just screwing that in blocks it off. Screwing this out lets fuel pass through this drain hose so you can drain the bowl of the carburetor. 